I finally found it. Now who's gonna stop me? Ah, <laughs> uh, come on, Blake. Take him to the fridge. Fuck you! You fucking dick! Always naysaying! Everything I create! You piece of shit! You create something! Everybody, it's time. The Five Nights at Freddy's fanverse plushies have arrived at my door. Well, the ones that aren't Blake the Badger. I'm just kidding, Blake. I love you too in your ugly teeth. Oh. <laughs> Bloodlust! <laughs> You bastard! Breaking the seals! They're showing me their asses. Yeah! Oh, that's a bubble wrap. Oh, that was fucking lame. Here they are! Candy the cat and Pop goes the weasel! I got them! There they are, the plushies. They've been encapsulated in bags. So, uh, what better off, since I've got Blake here and the other two, I'm going to review them. So, uh, I guess we could start with Blake since he's actually out of his packaging. So here is the plush of Blake the Badger. Uh, a little history about this guy. So apparently, Kane Carter, the creator of Pop Goes and subset of the Pop Goes brand in the Fazbear Fanverse, was not told that, uh, this was being made. So, yeah, Funko just kind of decided to make this. I don't know why... It's Blake the Badger, <laughs> no offense, but he's not exactly the most prominent character in the fanverse. If I was Funko, I would have picked a Candy's character first. And it's kind of actually hurtful that they picked this because this is using the old design from Pop Goes 2016 rather than Pop Goes Evergreen, which is the new reboot, which is what Pop Goes is based off of. Blake is based off of his old design uh, from 2016, which has like a worse quality model and stuff like that and just not a current design. His design from Evergreen, well, not too different, and then adds some extra accessories and stuff that makes him overall look better. So yeah, this is based off of his old model, uh, and I know Kane said this is going to be in limited run, and they were going to remake him later, but this is basically classic Blake. So if you care about having a character from classic Pop Goes, then here you go. This is your, this is your chance. Get him while it's hot. And ironically enough, this is actually a really good plush. Uh, the head is really close to the shape that the original Blake has. His pattern on his eyes for being, you know, a badger and having this pattern is very accurate as well. The eyebrows are embroidered. The eyes are more like the modern style of FNAF eyes where they pick the pop-out look but still give him eyelids. Uh, his ears are also looking pretty badgery. Uh, you know, this entire head shape is really well done, honestly. Um, it's all using printing, obviously, but Funko's gotten so much better with their printing, it doesn't really bug me, especially when it's certain patterns like this, where it would just kind of not really make sense to make it, like, separate pieces of fabric. His snout is very small, he's got a little flat felt nose, and he has five little teeth here, which I kind of am not a fan of, they look a little ugly, but, you know, it, eh, he's, he's, he's a silly little badger guy, he's not really meant to be cute. Uh, but yeah. His body is for black limbs, and he's also got some gray patterns on his chest, uh, and his back with a little tail, a little badger tail, uh, which is really cute. So yeah, uh, pretty good plushie. I think he looks nice. Um, there is the Fazbear Fanverse tag using the logo that Click Team made, I think. Uh, but yeah, there's the there is the tag, and it's a GameStop exclusive along with the other two. So yeah, it's a decent little tag. There's Blake. I mean, he did, it's Blake the Badger from Pop Goes 2016. Uh, I wouldn't get this if I wasn't a diehard FNAF fan. Uh, I would honestly just wait for the new Blake to come out whenever he does. Uh, but, you know, if you really want Blake the Badger and you needed your fix right now, then go right on ahead. Um, to shift gears a little bit away from Pop Goes, I'm going to do Candy next. Here he is, Candy the Cat from Five Nights at Candy's. Uh, the fan game made by Emil Mako back in 2016, 2015, I think. I think it was 2015, actually. Um, or at least he started production then. A uh, little backstory about Candy. Uh, this was originally just a character Emil made uh, randomly and posted on Twitter. Uh, a model of, and some guy stole it or made a fake FNAF 3 fan game and put 
this character in it, and they named it Sugar. Candy did not apparently have a name at the time, uh, which is why they this random person just named it Sugar, and Emil got so pissed off about it that he decided to make a whole fan game about him and his f funny little cast of friends. Um, but yeah, he is now a plushie and a part of the Fazbear fanverse, and this dude looks amazing. He's so cute. Uh, his colors are perfect. He's got, like, a perfect, like, bright, like, nice shade of blue. I love this blue. This is a good blue. Uh, and then also the white parts, the white accents to sort of mandify his face. He is adorable. Uh, he's got his little, little red cheeks, rosy cheeks. Uh, his snout is about, like, as caddish as it gets. He's got a little felt, little felt bit on his nose. His two fangs. His eyes are very similar to Blake's. They're brown with the, uh, eyelids. Eyebrows are embroidered. The ears are embroidered. There's actually no printing on this plush. Well, okay, that's kind of a lie. There is, like, these little lines, which are technically printed, but who cares? His tie, his, like, normal tie, looks pretty good. Uh, my only real complaint is probably that it's, like, stitched at the neck, so it kind of goes up a little bit rather than falling flat like it should. But other than that, Candy looks fantastic. I love this little guy. Kind of wish he had a little kitty tail, but I guess Candy never really had a tail, so... I kind of understand why I didn't decide to give him one. Uh, same tag as Blake. Fazbear Fanverse. You know the drill. He looks great. Love this little guy. And last but not least, Pop Goes. I mean, what can I say, really? He's amazing in every way. Alright, so this plush has some real pros and some real cons. Uh, I personally do like him i think he looks good but maybe it's just the nature of pop goes design he's a little bit uh um a little, little he doesn't really i don't think there's many brain cells up there uh yeah pop goes is a little derpy looking uh, i don't know if this is just the nature of his design he's just gonna look that way like i he looks derpier than blake does uh his eyes are really spread far apart um, he's got his green eyes and his eyelids, and he's got these little eye rings that he has in his design. That is printed. Uh, the fabric on the whole head is printed because obviously you have the the the, the um the lower jaw and then the uh, upper sort of bit back here. All that's printed, so you can get the nice designs. Um, his ears are actually sewn and embroidered, so that's cool. Uh, his snout is uh, different, another shape. Uh, they've been, th these three obviously are new animals to the FNAF franchise, so they have to have different snout shapes. And I applaud Funko for actually going through the effort and making all their snouts different. Uh, he's got a very small snout, and he's got his little freckles. Uh, his nose is brown, but it's still flat, no no hard plastic nose. Uh, his fangs are, you know, there's his fangs, um, or his teeth. He's got an embroidered eyebrows, obviously like I said, the ears are embroidered. The hat is actually, uh, interesting. It's a smaller hat like the modern FNAF plushies, but they obviously have this little green accent here. Um, which, uh, if you put the hat down, it looks good, but a lot of the times the hat will end up folding upwards and you kind of can't really see it. Um, so just kind of, you know, try and press it down as much as you can to sort of shape it into place. Uh, his hat looks good though. It's a nice, nice green color. It all kind of matches together. He has a brown body with this little, like, stomach, this tan stomach. Uh, and his vest! His vest looks amazing. Uh, it actually sews into the arm, but it comes around and sort of falls on top of the front of the stomach and sews into the body. This is a really cool pattern, the way that they uh, did the vest here. And none of it's printed. It's all embroidered on, which is in felt, and it's it's amazing. Uh, the buttons are obviously, um, you know, three little black buttons are printed, but, you know, what can you do, honestly? It's a plushie. Uh, in this nice green bow tie, it looks amazing. Obviously, I know Glitch Trap's vest doesn't come up to more than right here, but this is a really good base if they were to make a Glitch Trap plush. I think this looks amazing. Um, but like I said, he has a couple face structural issues, which that might just be the nature of design, or it may just be a Funko problem. I have no idea. But either way, this plush is still really good, but it's probably got some high highs and some low lows. You know, it's just kind of, it kind of it balances out. It balances out. Um, also, I almost forgot his tail. He's got a little, little, little tail. I believe this is the same size as Blake's tail. I think they just used the same pattern for the tail. Um, but yeah, there is Pop Goes the Weasel. Uh, same tag, GameStop exclusive, yada, 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 you get the drift. There are all three of our little boys. Um, obviously, there are the other two fan games in the fanverse, FNAF Plus and, uh, The Joy of Creation. We don't know if FNAF Plus's characters are getting any plushies. 
Uh, I know Fiznom has stated that he wants to wait until the game is actually out before talking about merchandise. And also, uh, you know, the joy of creation, we have no words from Nixon if we're going to get merch on that. Uh, and I know that there is a third, uh, last unnamed, um, unnamed, uh, fan game, but we don't, we don't talk about him. Anyway, should you buy the FNAF fan vs. plushies? I would say yes. These are some of Funko's best in a long time. Uh, the printing is used to the design's advantage. Uh, the plushies overall have great colors, great patterns, um... And, you know, the printing doesn't feel unnecessary. It's spots that make sense to have it. Uh, even Blake the Badger, you know, this weird design that kind of just came out of nowhere. It's still a good-looking plush. It's solid. Uh, it's nothing really wrong with it. Um, the other two, you know, Popco's has some problems, but that might just be his, like, design base. Candy, I think, is perfect. I don't think they did anything wrong with this guy. This guy is actually just, mwah, beautiful. Um... But I think that these plushies are fantastic. I would give them a buy. You know, support the fanverse guys. If the plushies are still in stock, obviously, buy them. <laughs> but, of course, I think these are fantastic. Uh, it's great that we're getting the fan game characters as plushies. It's kind of surreal, honestly, having these guys as plushies. Considering the fact that back in, like, 2015, 2016, I remember playing these, or seeing and playing these fan games, and they were freaking, like, it's like, oh, this is really cool, it's a cool FNAF fan game, it's very high quality, and now they're technically a part of the official FNAF, uh, branding, and now we have these, um, I know that there's also leaks that Funko is making a 16-inch candy, which I might honestly pick that up, that just sounds like it's gonna be adorable, like, this plush base is already fantastic, um, I mean, I can't even, like, put into words how amazing this guy is, uh, but, yeah, I think... This is a fantastic set of three. I would suggest at very least getting Pop Goes and Candy. If you want to wait for Blake, I get it. Um, but if you're a diehard FNAF fan, I don't see why not. He's a good plush. Nothing really wrong with him. Keep doing more of these, Funko. Stop doing the stinky, stinky recolors. We don't want those. And, uh, sorry, Blake, you're, you're a side character. I don't really need to... Now we can put Frederick Leopold Fazbear between the two of them. Look at him. They're adorable. Uh, but anyway, thanks you guys for watching. Uh, pick them up if you get the chance. Uh, you know, it's fantastic plushies. Uh, and stay tuned for more stuff. Goodbye, everybody!